Oh, oh, well, hello, how are you? How, how wonderful it is to see you again. So how have you been? Oh, that's good. Oh, okay, yeah, bye, bye then, take care. Love to the family. Who is that, Dad? No idea. No idea. And why were you nice to them? Well, they seem to know me. Ooh. Okay, sorry. Uh, hello, welcome. Welcome. To let me bore you to sleep. <coughs> my name, my name is Jason Newland. Newland. My website's jasonnewland.com. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Vinny is under the table having his uh, eating a bone the loud neighbour has decided to come into the garden to be loud bless them there's like a volume it just there's no volume level it's like we're just loud loud and louder bless them oh well maybe I'm really loud you don't know, do you? I could be really loud and everyone can hear me. In which case, I should shut up. So, oh, Vinny, you just guffed. Stop guffing. You just let one off. Oh, it's proper stinky. So, please only listen when you can safely close your eyes, where if I've not already said that. I don't remember what I said it, because it's all quite, kind of an automatic thing. You know when you're driving down the motorway and you realise that... Vinny? Okay, you're right. Oh, now there's a dog barking. Okay, hopefully he'll stop. Um, yeah, I forget. I do the introduction. And... Because I, I do it, I've been doing the same introduction for 18 years. The, like only listen when you can safely close your eyes and sometimes I say it automatically don't realize I said it uh, yeah it's like you're on the motorway you're going down the motorway and you realize oh I've forgotten something what have I forgotten oh my car where's my car and you know it's kind of that kind of situation so oh, he's just sitting there looking don't know what he's looking. <laughs> I don't know. I think he likes listening to the sounds. Between me and you, I think he likes listening to me talk. Because sometimes, if providing there's no other distractions, he just falls asleep listening to me. So he's sitting on. He's sitting up, and he's leaning against my leg, against my foot. So. I mean, I'm surprised he's not asleep because he's had the time of his life today. Seriously, he... We've done oh, one, two, three walks, like normal walks. We went into the field on the third walk. So he had a nice walk around the field. On the way back, okay, maybe two walks. Yeah, maybe we'd had two walks. I, f I lose track. Anyway, I forget sometimes. I mean, it's a bit like you know when you when you're <laughs> on a motorway. No, um. So I you know it's like someone you know in the <laughs> you you're flying on holiday and you're on the way to the holiday and you're flying in the air and you think oh. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to catch the plane. I don't know, it's, I'm in a silly mood. Um, I wonder if Superman ever forgot to put his pants on. If he ever got dressed wrongly. And he, and he, and he, he like, because I'm guessing the pants, his, his trousers 
were crotchless and then the pants were over. He said blue, like, I don't know, lycra leggings, which went up to his waist. But I'm thinking that the, the bottom part is crotchless and bumless. And then the, the red thong that he wore, maybe it shouldn't be called it a thong, was... So did he ever, like, forget to put the thong on? <laughs> Go into the telephone box, telephone booth. Of course, the telephone booths don't really exist anymore. But you can't, like, run into a mobile phone... I suppose a mobile phone shop, maybe, and change. Uh, although he did once run into a hotel, you know those, those swinging doors that go round and round and round, and he did that really fast, didn't he? And then came out the other end dressed as Superman. Imagine if there was someone else. I mean, didn't they do it? What if someone actually was in there, and they, and then at the end of it, they come out like, oh, and they were all dishevelled because they were stuck in there. Now, in reality, they'd be they'd be splattered, wouldn't they? Because that was proper fast. It wasn't just like fast. That was a thousand times or whatever. It's like, wow. I just wonder if sometimes he got dressed. Because he must have had that stuff underneath his his suit. But why? what happened to the suit? Where did that go? Did he eat it? Did he put it somewhere? <laughs> you know? insert it i don't know what how how where did the suit go because you know he'd be in the office with his suit shirt tie shoes all that stuff with i guess his spandex superman costume underneath so what happened to the suit unless he just maybe he i don't know I can't think uh it lasered it away unless he just left a, a a pile of clothes every time which would have been expensive wouldn't it because he was on a reporter's salary and I can't imagine he was getting paid enough to buy you know a new suit every day And also, he'd have to go back home. So when he when he, he'd have to go and buy a new suit after every time he turned into Superman, which means he'd be walking into a suit shop, whatever they call clothes shop or whatever clothes store, dressed as Superman, and then walking out as Clark Kent. So people would. They're going to notice that, aren't they? Superman just went into that shop. I wonder where he is. Let's wait. You know, it's an hour later. Has anyone come out? No. Well, there's one bloke. Uh, he looks like a reporter. <sighs> well, actually, he looked just like Superman, but wearing glasses and a suit. What, you look exactly the same as... Yeah, exactly the same. No different. Just wearing glasses. Mind you, it can make a difference. Cause I remember when my dad... When I first met my dad, when I was seven. Just before I was seven. I, I, must, I knew him for the first six months or whatever. But I didn't know him until I was about... Just before I was seven. He had this big, bushy beard. Beautiful thing it was. It was a work of art. It was, this was the, what, 1977. Uh, it was, yeah, honestly, it was a wonderful beard. Beautiful beard, honestly. It's amazing. I've got pictures of it. Not the beard. He's attached to the beard as well. Not just of the beard, because that would be weird. I've got it in a bag. <laughs> it's like, no, that'd be weird. But yeah, anyway. One day we came home from school and this was 1978. I say we, my, my, my brothers. No, or was it on a Saturday morning? It might, it might have been a Saturday morning. And he came down. Well, this bloke came down. Morning, kids. 
And I was like, Dad, Dad. He said, yeah. I said, no, not you. Dad, there's some strange man. Some strange man. It's like, he's on the stairs. Dad, Dad. And like, no one came. He said, Jason, it's me. And I can see it's you, but where's my dad? And uh, he's like, no, I, I had a shave. I shaved the beard off. And we all rolled around laughing because he looked so silly without it. Just just because we'd only ever seen him with it. He didn't look silly, not really, but he just looked... Well, he's bald. Not, he wasn't bald on his head. Although the face is technically the head, isn't it? <laughs> it's not like... It's the head and then it's a face. That is like, it is the head. It's part of the head. But the head, the face part of the head and then the head part of the head. Ah, oh, it's confusing. But he had hair on his head. That's what I'm trying to say. And we laughed. It was hilarious. I'm not sure if that was the response he was looking for. And it must have taken him hours to get rid of get it, get it, get it gone. Those were the days before decent razors. So I don't know. It must have taken him about. 10 hours or something he must have gotten up like every hour during the night just to have a little chop a little bit more off that's my what I imagine happened or he hired a team of monkeys to cut it while he was asleep I don't know that that's just silly but anyway shaved shaved it off and every time I saw him I'd like <laughs> who's that bloke is and my dad got so fed up because everyone else was getting used to it I still couldn't get used to it six months later I was still like uh, who's that bloke at the dinner table it's me it's your dad but my dad's got a beard I, said, no, I haven't had a beard for six years well we... and I only had a, I only had a beard for three weeks and I was like just anyway what he did in the end or what I did because he wouldn't do anything about it so whenever he was there I had I drew a picture of a beard and I basically just put it in my eyesight just so I, it was just just below his uh, nose and it's like oh okay and it's like oh it's my dad okay Who, who's that? oh it's my dad who's it? oh it's my dad and I did that and you know, I was I was just a kid at the time. Well, I was fourteen, but you know, I was still a kid, and it just took a little bit of adjusting. You know, sometimes things take a little bit of adjusting, and it's a little bit like you know, like when you're in a space rocket and. You, you, or you think you're in a space rocket, but you're not, because you're not actually, for the sake of the joke, and you're heading towards the moon, and you think, what have I forgotten? Oh, oh yeah, the space shuttle. It doesn't work so much if you've already mentioned that you're in a spaceship, and then you say, well, I'm not actually in a spaceship, because I'm going to mention I'm not in a minute. Yeah, kind of ruins that, but if I hadn't said that, maybe if I'd have said something different, it might have been better. So... Vinny went for a, so he did two walks we took him out the first walk was just a standard walk and crossed the road he didn't want to go the way the way that I was going so and he pulled me and then he saw another dog the side of the road the other side of the road so we crossed over to say hello same uh, same race as him it's a Jack Russell. It's the same kind of species. And he is <laughs> the same race. It's the same. And it was like a bit bigger though. A bit bigger. But it was 16 years old. 16 years. And I started thinking. 16 years. Does that mean I've got him for another 14 years or 15 years? Which means I'll be 
68. And I'd still be walking him around the field and the park and I'll be an old man. We'll both be old men. He'll be old. He'll be like 120 in his years and I'll be probably 150 in mine, but I'll be 68. Come on, Vinny. What? I said, come on. What? What'd you say? What? Who? What? We'll both be probably half deaf, half blind, not knowing what we're doing. It's going to be a weird scenario. He'll probably have a walking stick as well. It's just going to be strange. In fact, I might be in a wheelchair and he'll be the one pushing me. Blimey. What a strange... Imagine, I wonder if he'll go grey. You see some old dogs and they, they are grey, aren't they? They go grey, so... I wonder if he'll go grey. I wonder if in 15 or 16 years' time he'll actually start to like me. <laughs> I wonder. I, mean, I just had a visitor just now. Just one of my neighbours knocked on the door just to have a little chat and he got up to leave and Vinny was like... No, don't leave me. Don't leave me with him. Not with him. Don't leave me with the, with the nasty man. Honestly, like, please begging him not to go. I give I give this little dog everything, like, that it's possible to give. He gets treated like a king. Well, not like a king. I mean, he doesn't have a crown or a throne. or I, I have a throne, a toilet, but... He's treated well, you know, he gets everything he wants, but it's like he doesn't even like me. Uh. So I took him for the first walk of the day, and he went, he basically wanted to go a different direction, and what I thought is, you know what, let's go into the field, let's at least... Come on then, in you come. Okay, come on, treat. Come on, treat. There you go. Yay! That should be in protective. Bastard. That's for barking continuously. For hours and hours on end. There you go. Yeah! <sighs> Someone downstairs closed their front, their front door and he started barking. Now, I had the front door, my living room door, open. I should have closed it because he hears everything. And because I've got no TV or music playing, you know, everything's a little bit more accessible to his earlobes, the sound. So, I took him for a walk. I don't know if I took him for two or three walks, but anyway... I took him, there was one walk, we walked up to the field entrance. And I looked into the entrance, it was very muddy. And I thought, Ugh. And then, but there's two entrances, or well, maybe one's an entrance, one's an exit. Some people probably class them both as entrances, I don't know. I mean, I go into both. I'm not that fussy, but... Sometimes I go into one, and other times I think of it as an exit. Maybe go one, go into one and round, and then back out the other, the other side. <laughs> They're very close to each other, both the exit and the entrance. Um, but sometimes I will walk. I go into. I mean, it depends because one they both kind of lead into the same place. Although one there's a ditch or a dike between the the fields. So, uh, if you don't know what a dike is, it's basically, it's a ditch, but that's where the water is collected when it rains, and the overflow from the fields, but it also helps to feed the fields as well, if that makes sense. So, like, the water go, level goes down, so it's uh, there's quite a few of those. So, it stops the fields from getting flooded, because the water overflows, goes into the, the dike, and... But then, and they basically they're in between all the fields, the outline, and also in between each field. 
and they they you know it's, it works this it's good good way of doing things i think i appro- i approve it's uh, seems to be quite clever so but the other entrance or the other exit whichever way you want to go is it wasn't it didn't look very dry but Vinny wanted to go in there anyway he said I'm going I said well you can't really just go without me he said I'm going I'm going in the field I said yeah but it might not be might be too muddy he said look I'm already here I'm already, you, you, you brought me to the to the entrance you can't tease me like that if you're going to bring me to the field, then we need to go in the field. Otherwise, it's not fair. I said, yeah, but it's mud. if it's muddy, I don't want to slip over and I could hurt myself. He said, how is that going to affect me? Oh, wow. He's, it's really is, it's a little bit selfish, to be honest. I don't like to, to be rude, but, well, I, I do but it's just ugh, a bit annoying anyway so that's kind of what happened I followed him a little bit I thought if it's muddy muddy like where do you know that kind of mud it, it wasn't it was kind of quite flat mud although I did slip a couple of times nearly slipped over well don't know if I slipped over but I slipped then I thought I need to keep my back straight and because sometimes I will walk leaning forward a little bit and I think that's a natural thing if you if you're top heavy like I am so I kind of lean back a little bit and put my weight you know make sure that my weight's a bit more evenly distributed onto my feet this is turning some kind of physics exercise and then but so it was okay but there's been times in the past when I've walked in the field and it's been so muddy that by the time I get to the other end of the field and all the way around the field and out the other side I'm about seven foot taller because the mud's just collected underneath my feet I'm looking down at the trees that I was looking up to before I was like wow but then it's quite hard to get the mud off when you're like nine foot in the air you know it's uh, difficult anyway so luckily it wasn't that kind of situation the mud was there it wasn't sticking to my feet I mean you might argue well, why don't you wear some shoes then yeah 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 but I just walked and a little bit slippery but it was fine when we got in deep into the field well far enough and I could see there was no one around I let him off for a little while he had a little run around but then he what did he do he he started making his way into the field itself he caught a scent like he caught something I don't know if it was a rabbit or whatever and he started to bolt into the field which is very quite highly grown at the moment well probably yeah probably at least up to my chest I'd say so I couldn't even hardly see him maybe up to my belly button maybe up to my waist I don't know it was higher than him I was realizing he is quite small I called him and he, he he was probably about 100 foot away from me maybe not that far maybe 20 foot 30 foot away and he did come back and I put him on the lead and he bounced back like he kind of almost you know imagine a little horse on a you know those, those horsey courses where they jump over fences it was a little bit like that um, the greyhounds jump over stuff 
I think they might do, you know, I can't remember. But anyway, that's what he looked like. He looked like a little horse jumping over fences, but it wasn't. It was uh, it was jumping over the the crops, whatever the crops were. I think that place might be potatoes. I've got no idea. And so I put him back on his lead. You know, in the in the the duration the duration of us walking to the end of the field, round the corner a bit, and then back, he did three poos. I had three bags of poo to carry. Now, normally, once we get into the field, if he does a poo, he was doing it on the pathway, so I had to pick it up. If he's in the field when he does it, if he's off the lead, and he's middle of the field, I just leave it. Or if he does it in a ditch, I leave it because it's good for the soil. I guess, yeah, it is. I mean, it's there's lots of it's on top of the soil, but you know, generally, it's that stuff breaks down and it is it's uh, good for the soil. But and they they use manure, don't they, in the soil and stuff. So the food we eat pretty much is created by poo. <laughs> Ironic, really, isn't it? Because a full circle, and not the poo. But, you know the, you know, you grow it, you poo, poo goes on the on the ground, and then it's turned into food, and then it's given to, it's given to the animal, and then does a poo, and it's going, it's, it's just round and round and round. So, um, so we did that. So that was nice. Yeah, that was the second walk. The first walk, I think we just went into the park. The second, the first, the second walk, I think we did that, and we came back. And on the way back, he was trying to pull again, to go into one of the neighbours' flats where one of my, fr well, two of my friends live. And he's trying to get in there, like, no, we're not going that way. And then he sees a van parked outside where we live with a couple of neighbours that he knows as well so then he starts running towards them so she one of them's in the passenger seat so she's just talking to Vinny hello Vinny all that stuff and she said to me why don't you meet me in the park later on she gave me a time and we'll just uh, he can run around I said and with with her girl because she's got a little girl and Vinny loves her so I thought alright I could do that so I went home this was about midday and I've been working on uploading sleepy boring objects all the podcasts from there and like making images and all that stuff so I've been working on that all day but I've not got very far I've literally done 13 out of about I don't know how many it's 28 or something but there is four versions of each one so I'm now about to do 14 so it, it's it's a bit it takes a while because after everyone ha everything has to be uploaded and um, I've already make I've already got the the images made for all of them but I won't add the images until I've completed the uploads and then once that's done I will then process it and put the RSS feed put it into Apple Podcasts and make it live to make the, the podcast live so that's then that will be another one done I mean there's still descriptions to do and all that stuff but the main part of it is accomplished and then and this so this is going to take me all the way tomorrow as well so because what fifth 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 i mean it's yeah i mean it's it's 6 47 p.m the chances of me doing all 28 because i think i've got 14 so 20 i've only got half done so there's going to be quite a few left to do. So I'm still going to be doing this tomorrow. But it'll be done. Which is good. You know. 
and then I can just move on to the next one. I don't know what the next one's going to be though. I can't really decide. I mean, I want to try and do not because of laziness, but a little bit because of laziness. I want to do the smaller podcasts first because I know that once I start on the ones that have got hundreds of recordings such as the sleep relax and sleep hypnosis daily which has got about 208 recordings and multiple versions of them and then there's the relax and sleep relax anxiety sleep hypnosis one no the relax relaxation I don't know what is it I can't remember the name of my own podcasts what's the name of it let's have a look Uh, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks okay so that that one has got 228 episodes so divide that by 4 if there's 4 versions of each one and the where is it relax and sleep hypnosis daily 206 episodes okay so that's four times that and then you've got stress and pain relief podcast is 47 episodes so it's four so I'll probably do that one next because that's the smaller one out of the three and I did sleeping broad objects what's 36 episodes really no I don't think it's how can there be thirty six episodes? That doesn't make sense. There is. Sleepy boring objects. I thought there was only twenty eight. Well clearly there's not. It's thirty six. Blimey. See this is gonna take a while. I'll probably be doing this all day tomorrow. Um but then I've got the Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis podcast. And there are, according to this, 425 episodes without music so whatever that will be in you know I don't know how many I've got saved for that one so you're looking at four eight at least well over a thousand on that one so it's this is going to take oh blimey weeks oh let me boil your pain away I should do that actually because that's only got a few only got nine episodes on there so nine times four whatever that is uh, I've done the stop smoking I've done the bedtime story time and I've done the ASMR let me boy to sleep ah oh, okay but then there's a chronic pain hypnosis one uh, I'd have to check to see which ones because now as I'm putting these together I'm only going to use the ones that have decent audio so I have pretty much got rid of not got rid of I've still got them but I've you know made unavailable any of the recordings from the from the past that were not very good audio quality which is most of them to be honest you know anything pretty much before 2014 2015 to you know even then even before 2018 there was some that weren't very good audio which is a shame you think all those years so two so it's like eight years 10 years even worth of recordings that I can't that I don't use because the, the audio quality just isn't very good oh so yeah, this is a this is oh blimey, there's way too many recordings to go through. It's gonna take forever. And once I've done a deep sleep whisper, once I've done all the ones that are like on their own, then um, then I have an idea of how things are going. I guess you know, if things are working or not. 
So, what have I got so more? I've got 87 <laughs> plays on my Spreaker. I'm still getting, that was loud, isn't it? I'm still getting downloads. Oh, wait a minute. This surprised me. So even though I've changed the RSS code, so the direction of the podcasts are not being directed to Spreaker anymore for certain ones. So Stop Smoking Hypnosis is not being directed to Spreaker anymore. The ASMR Let Me Bore You Sleep is not being directed to them. Jason's Bedtime Story Time is not being directed to them. But they're still getting people listening on Spreaker. Uh, the Stop Smoking Hypnosis podcast, not a lot to be honest, 17 downloads today or 17 plays. But it hasn't been aimed at the Spreaker podcast since yesterday. So yeah, I'm confused, man. Very, very confused. So, analytics-wise, it's not, not been a huge amount today. I don't know if... I'm not quite sure why that is as far as for, for these. So, Sleepy Boring Objects. Uh, right, I've no downloads because I've not I've not released it yet. Stop smoking's had four. Uh, analytics. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Sleep A ASMR. Let me boil to sleep. Three today. Jason's bedtime story time. Three. Blimey. Stop smoking. Forty one. Sleepy boring objects, none. So today's been very quiet. Yesterday was a lot, a lot more. So I don't know. It's in my, I've just got to check whether or not it's an Apple podcast thing. Because I've had a few problems with some of the podcasts when I change over the RSS feed and it just doesn't show up. Shows up initially and then it stops. So. And that, that same happened with the Deep Sleep Whisper podcast. Put it onto Apple Podcasts. It's on Spreaker and not Spreaker, on uh, SoundCloud. Shared it to Apple Podcasts and it was fine to start with and then it just seemed to stop sharing it or... I, a little bit confused, if I'm honest with you. Anyway, so we get back to the flat Finney's had a big long walk well it wasn't a huge long walk we don't we don't go all the way around the park um but I think he felt lighter because he'd you know he'd, he'd have three poos all on the path so I had to pick them up and if it's in a place where no one's going to walk uh I'll well if I can't get to it you know then I can't pick them up but if he's on the lead, it generally does it on the path on the pathway. It's a mud it's a mud path. It's a mud it's a mud path. And trampled down by people, I guess, walking. And I was walking towards the the um because I just had this conversation with a man who's also got Jack Russell and saying that he's his one's about 16 years old and I just started wondering if I was going to be here when I'm 68 still living here and still walking him in the field and and it's weird, for the first time, I mean, first of all, I was walking down the country road thinking, I hope a car doesn't come round because this is not a safe place to really to be standing. Um, but, and I was thinking, I wish I'd had my shoes. But, well, so we're walking, and I'm thinking, oh, 
it's not a terrible thing in some ways if I am still here and I've got my little boy with me and we're going for walks we're both old men at that time and maybe it's it's not a terrible thing you know companionship he might like me by then you never know you never know we'll both be grumpy old men well I already am really and I guess but anyone that's listening who's 68 or older I'm not calling people 68 old I'm calling myself old at 68 just let get that just the same way I call myself fat I don't I don't make fun of people's appearance or their age but I do make fun of myself and in a weird way I think of myself as looking about 90 or 100 when I'm 68 which is strange there's no reason why I should but it'll be I don't know who knows who knows come on Vinny that's enough a lot of activity somewhere you can hear a lot of voices it's not a good sign no but it's he can hear as well so it's, it's definitely out outside of my head and I don't know just a lot of people like shouting or uh, but very echoey very echoey so I'm working on the website or on the, the podcasts I had a little nap and then I got up about one o'clock no two o'clock in the afternoon so I was a, I was about an hour listening to some music laid down with uh, Vinnie and we had a little sleep a little nap and I've been out since four so it's fine I think and okay it's the fifth nap since four but you know let's just move on from that because I did the editing as soon as I woke up I think it was ooh, 10 to 4 or 4 o'clock I come in and I do the editing for the podcast that I did yesterday so all that stuff so it took it took an hour from I mean it wasn't uploaded but from editing it processing it and all that stuff took me about an hour so that was good you know it's, it's, then I had my breakfast watched TV for half an hour or an hour I don't know however long and by the end of that the recordings are mainly uploaded and then I'd already created an image as well so that was done on most of them so you know so that's pretty much what I'm going to do today as well so e even though technically I could upload this because it's you know, it's only seven o'clock it's not late but I like having that break from recording to editing I like having that that time so when I first get up in the morning that's what I do do the editing and he's always in bed pretty much when I get up he's generally still asleep and it's cool so I do that and it's it's not that I look forward to <laughs> look forward to editing blindly I tell you what it's a hell of a lot easier now than it used to be it used to and I used to talk about this actually a few years back before I got better equipment that recorded a bit clearer than it used to it would take me pretty much three minutes for every minute of recording three minutes on top well three minutes for every yeah I'd say three minutes for every week so if it was an hour recording it took three hours to edit and sometimes it takes so long that the software would just shut down I'd have to do I'd have to keep saving it every like half an hour and then reopening it otherwise it shut down and it was 
difficult sometimes. I mean, the, the occasional time, there was very little editing. I mean, the only editing, really, that I have now is just if he barks. Um, yeah, there's not a huge amount. I have like a listen through it, but he, the, the main thing is the processing is the thing that takes the time really editing doesn't take a huge amount although when i did that two and a half hour or two minute two hour 40 minute thing on friday the oh i need to post something about that don't i uh friday q a i'm gonna do another one this friday blimey why do i put myself through it <laughs> it's hard work i don't think future Q&A Fridays are going to be that long because that was two and I was yeah that's quite a long I remember my throat was so dry at the end of it even though I had water it was too much talking so I'll put a notice on Facebook on my Facebook page uh, the group rather which is uh, Jason Newland's boring group please join and um, it's the best place to contact me and that's where I post my stuff so I used to take me ages to edit I mean give you an example how many days did I spend I think it was 14 days putting together my stop smoking course it was a four week stop smoking course back in i did this in 2009 i think i bought equipment and everything and it was i'm not going to say it was top of the range but it was you know more decent than what i'd been using and the thing that took the longest time was the editing and because i wanted that to be well, in my mind, as perfect as possible. I was probably spending 10 minutes per minute editing, just in the amount of time it took me. And then redoing little bits, redoing a word here and there, like, it just took forever. And the ironic thing, it's not really ironic, but the, all four recordings could fit in about one and a half hours into one recording. One and a half hour. It took me 14 days to make an hour and a half recording. I mean, I think I even went through the process of writing out what I was going to say and just all that stuff. So I put a, more effort into that than I've probably ever put into anything that I've done regarding like recordings I mean there's no no other time have I devoted 14 days to just one thing no that part that part from that there was that when I first got internet when I first discovered internet I was in my bedroom for about two, three weeks but hey that's a different story so it was Trying to listen to see what I can hear. I don't know. Something going on in the garden. Not my garden. It sounds like it's a garden a long way away. Long, long time ago, I can still remember when the music used to make me smile. Oh, yes, yeah, so. When we went out again, I took him to the park and my neighbour hadn't turned up yet, so we're just walking around, just have a little just a little little just a slow walk. And then another person that I, another dog owner came and she let her dog off and Vinny Vinny likes 
him a lot. So they played with each other for a bit. And then we headed up to the to where my f other friend was, where she was collecting her kid. And then we came into the f into the park, and Vinny was running around. So I was sitting down, uh, talking to my neighbour, and we were just chatting and stuff. And she had one of her friends with her, and Vinny was off the lead, running around. At times, he was on the lead with her daughter, and then I said, "We might as well just let him off the lead." and he's having the time of his life and like I, I just took I kind of just left him to it and he you know he was with all the kids and he was just having fun obviously I wouldn't do that if I was just in the park on my own of course but I was because I was with one of the mothers and they all know her and they know her daughter and I just basically I left her daughter in charge of Vinny, so Vinny just was playing with her and then playing with all her friends and stuff. And we was there probably about an hour. We we're just chatting and stuff, and it was a nice day. It was sunny, bit bit cloudy. I still had my jacket on. I realised I'm going to have to do something because I need to get a new jacket. I haven't got a a light jacket. I've just got my rain jacket that I wear. I wear during the winter. It looks like I'm about to drive a forklift truck or something. So I need to sort that out. I don't quite know how. But I will sort it out. And because you can't, okay, there's one thing I'm walking around in a tracksuit top. But what if it rains? It's sometimes nice to have a like a, a midway jacket, isn't it, for spring and for autumn when it's it's not necessarily warm enough to be not wearing a jacket, or especially in in this country, the weather changes quite quickly at times. See, we can, we we have four seasons in this country. Uh, some might say, well, we have four seasons everywhere. No, not every country has four seasons. I think. I might be wrong. We sometimes have four seasons in one day, it feels like. Have we stopped yet? Did we stop barking now? Look, it's just people slamming the door. They don't have to slam the door, so... If you bark when people slam the doors, then that's tough on them. They haven't got to slam the door, have they? No, they haven't. I know we slam the door sometimes, but it's an accident. Well, he just started barking again then. Someone slammed the door downstairs. And I try and get him to be quiet. Then I think, you know what? If someone slams the door, they let the door slam, he's going to bark. It's just the way it is. There's not very little I can do about that. And they don't have to let the door slam. It's up to them. They choose to let it slam, and it slams very loud. It shakes the building sometimes. It's, they're very heavy doors. I'm not bothered about them slamming, to be honest. I don't care anymore. But for, it does affect him. It gets him agitated or excited or something. I don't know. So he barks. But... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just having a moan now. I'll stop. So, oh, it was so nice. My neighbour downstairs on Saturday. I might have mentioned this. I thought I heard her cat outside because it escaped at least once. Um, because it's a house cat, and it got out, and you know she was looking for it, him or her. I think it's a boy. Anyway, on Saturday, I think it was. I was making a recording and I'd, I'd called her and she didn't answer the phone I was just going to say I think your cat might be outside didn't answer so I just left it cat and I made my recording doing a podcast I didn't realise she'd phoned me twice but I didn't answer because I had it on mute so there's a knock on the door Vinny's going rah, 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 going like with someone at the door dad that's his sounds like hectic but he's just like 
probably him just being calm. Hey, Dad, why don't you go and answer that door, man? But to me, it sounds like he's like really super, super excited. So he, don't you bark it? Hey, can you keep keep it quiet, mate? Keep it calm, please. He knows I'm talking about him, don't you? You know I'm talking about you, don't you? Yes, you do. I can tell. I can tell from your eyes. Anyway. Um, she So there's a knock at the door. And it's, it's pitch black outside, so I couldn't see who it was. So I shouted, who is it? She said, it's me. Your neighbour from downstairs. <laughs> she doesn't sound like that. I don't know. i got to stop the voices. No, no I'm not going to stop. Anyway, I so said, like, who's me? And then she said her name. I thought, oh, okay. So I opened the door. And I said, come in, because I couldn't see her. Because it was dark out there. So she came in. Uh, I didn't say come in. You can come in if you want. I didn't, like, command her. Get in here. This instant. And she said, are you okay? I said, yeah. And... The reason she knocked is because she was concerned about me. Because she'd missed a phone call from me. And then she tried to call me back twice. And she was worried. It's so nice, isn't it? So I said, no, fine. It's so nice. And she, she went and I carried on the podcast. But And then it dawned on me. She's 19 years old. To her, I'm an old man. To her, I'm probably like a pensioner. Like, like in through, through, through her eyes, it's like me looking at an 80-year-old, an 85-year-old, 83-year-old. And she's looking at me, a 53-year-old, 30-odd years older than her. And that's what she's seeing. She's seeing a really old person through young eyes. Through her young eyes. It's like, wow. And I don't really see myself like that unless I look in the mirror. <laughs> but it's just like, wow. Wow. She's concerned that I'm okay. Worried that I might have fallen over or something. That I might that I've done me hip in. Wow, I can't believe I'm in that category now. I'm in a category where people are thinking of me as elderly. And it's, yeah, it, it kind of like, wow. Oh, I started barking again. What was, I, what was I talking about? I don't know, some door slamming contest going on downstairs. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, so that was really nice of my neighbour, wasn't it? Just to check up on me. And that's what I do with my neighbour opposite to me. He's, he's about 80. And I check up on him, and like, oh, wow. <sighs> so... Oh, so I take him, I'm, so I'm in the park with Vinny. He's just off doing his own thing. I'm talking to my neighbour and her friend. And then one of them says, where's Vinny? I look around. I can't see him anywhere. All the kids are just playing on their own. He's nowhere to be seen. So I, I stand up because I felt that was the right thing to do. And I'm looking, and I call him, I call his name, and he comes running. I don't know where he was. Generally don't know where he was. He came, I don't know if he'd left the park, I hope he hadn't, but it looked like he came from the bushes, more like behind, like he's still in the park, but he came running, it was like, Wow. 
So I put him on his lead. So I'm sitting there. And then my neighbour hands me the end of the lead. She's let him off the lead for some reason. And now he's harassing a couple of people sitting on the grass, watching the football being played. I was like, I just got him back on. It took me a lot of hassle to get him back on the lead. Now you just let him off. Really? But I tell you what, I was, for a, for a, for a little while, I was like, shook because like oh no is someone taking him is you know it's like where is he but he came back i was so pleased to see him but what i'm surprised is when we got back we got home and everything he's not tired and if, come on mate stop barking we're, we're ending the recording now okay good boy no barking i was just surprised he wasn't tired he hasn't slept or anything since we got back. Maybe a little bit, but other than that. So, oh, that's it. That is it. I'm going to go. So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye. Vinny, you can bark now. We're finished. Oh, now you don't want to bark. Now, now you don't want to bark, eh? Now that we've finished the recording, no barking. What are you sniffing my knee for? <laughs> You're such a wally. You're such a wally. Yes, you are. You're a wally head. Me. <sighs> <sighs>